Hello. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Um, and uh, on behalf of my ministry, the BMZ, I would like to welcome you most cordially to the first Daring Cities Conference. Uh, I think we will be able to listen to contributions from all over the world. And together, we will discuss ideas for moving forward on urban climate action and urban resilience and for helping decision makers to develop the best solutions for their cities from the huge amount of information and experience that is available. I think humanity is facing a process of tremendous urbanization that will go far beyond everything we have seen so far. 90% of this urbanization is taking place in Asia and Africa. By 2050, Africa's urban population will have grown by nearly 1 billion people. In Asia, this growth will be 1.2 billion. And up to 75% of, of global greenhouse gas emissions come from cities. Road transport and the construction industry are the biggest sources of these urban emissions. This means that the Paris climate targets can only be reached together with the cities. We can see this if we look at Africa. In Africa, 80% of the urban infrastructure that is needed for this rapid urbanization still has to be built. If today's traditional methods and materials were used for this construction effort, it would lead to huge carbon emissions. So we need to find new ways very quickly. We have seen how this can be done. Architects such as uh, Christoph Ingenhofen and Stefano Böri have shown us in Düsseldorf, Turin, Utrecht and Singapore where they have carried out green architecture projects. This is also what we are planning for the new building for our ministry in Berlin. We are planning the first carbon neutral wooden high rise building in Berlin. We all have to act because large urban areas in particular are increasingly affected by climate change, as my colleague Schulz mentioned, be it from rising sea levels, heat or extreme weather events. On top of that, cities are faced with new challenges as a result of shocks such as the current COVID-19 crisis. Protecting people's health requires enormous levels of additional funding, while at the same time important sources of revenue are drying up. The BMZ therefore launched an emergency COVID-19 support program. It includes targeted efforts to strengthen the provision of services and local action to fight the pandemic. But we are also providing 1 billion euros in additional funding to mitigate the consequences of the crisis and facilitate continued investment in the future. The COVID-19 crisis shows us that we need to adopt a broader understanding of resilience. Cities do not only have to get ready for the direct impacts of climate change, they also have to get ready for new external shocks. Otherwise, they will be overwhelmed by the new developments and increasingly lose their capacity to take action. So we have to do everything we can to lay the foundations today for a climate neutral livable tomorrow. And at my ministry, the BMZ, we are therefore working together with our partners for more climate action, resilience and a green recovery in cities and regions. The following questions guide us in these efforts. First, how can the role of cities in the international debate be strengthened? Here is one answer. By frequently emphasizing their importance and their contribution at international conferences, such as the high-level political forum at the UN Climate Conference. How can we identify and tap existing potential? is the second question. For example, by trying innovative approaches on a pilot basis, 
through the Transformative Urban Mobility Initiative and through the C40 Cities Financing Facility, for instance. And third, how can we act quickly and reach many people by fostering the effective exchange of knowledge, for example, through the Cities Climate Finance Leadership Alliance and by giving cities access to climate finance through tools such as the Cities Climate Finance Gap Fund. Let us use the coming weeks to work together even more closely and learn from each other. Daring Cities 2020 gives us an excellent platform for this. The world is full of solutions. Thank you very much and let us find 